Hello students, how are you today? I hope you're doing very, very great and I hope you enjoyed your spring break. Well, I thank you so much for all of your messages. I appreciate it and I must tell you that I miss you also. Thank you so much. And um, of course, we're going to be learning math today. It's Miss Dolapa speaking. So it's time for math. Get together everything you need, your math workbook, student book, pencils, erasers, sharpeners, and make sure you sit still while the lesson lasts. No going out to pee or to, for the, to the toilet or doing anything. You have to pay full attention. So I'll give you just a few minutes to do that. Thirty seconds more. Okay, let's do some math. So guess what time it is? Do you want to guess what time it is? Yeah, I heard what you just said. You just said 10 minutes past 10, of course. Well, yes, 10 minutes past 10 by what you have on the clock the face of a clock but what exactly is this moment about what do we want to talk about okay let's see if you get right in the next slide well it's time to review time yes i know you've done time in the previous classes in year four five you've done time by now you know a lot of things about time but then we just want to have a review on it so we don't forget something okay it's lesson 11 and unit one so your student book should be on page 206 to 209 and your workbook, of course, is your homework. It's from pages 180 to 192. So let's get started. Now, what exactly do we want to learn today? We have lesson objectives. And what are we going to learn today? At the end of this lesson, we must be able to read and tell the time in 12 and 24 hour clocks of course you know we have 12 hour clock we have a 24 hour clock as well so you must be able to tell the difference and at the end of this lesson you should be able to measure time using different units what are the units of, of time we have minutes we have hours we have different units of time so you must be able to measure time using different units for example if i say to you i'll be there in 60 minutes it's of course the same thing as saying I'll be there in one hour. The only difference is the unit that I use. I can choose to use unit, uh, uh, the hour unit, and I can choose to use the minute unit as far as the time is the same. That's what we mean by measuring time using different units. And finally, you must be able to confirm, convert from one unit of time to another, from minutes to hour, hour to minute, and so on. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's take a quick warm-up activity. Look at the clock right now. Yes, I mean this very moment. Check the time. And what you're going to do for me, convert the time to minutes only. I know the time is going to be in minutes and in hours, okay? Or in hours and in minutes, rather. So, check what the time is and convert the time to minutes only. If, for example, the time right now is 4.20, convert 4.20 to minutes only. I'll give you 45 seconds to do that right now. The time starts counting now. more than half time gone you have just 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 
two, and one. Over. The time is over. Okay, send to me your answers in class dojo. You're going to state the actual time that you're converting. Then your answer, that's uh, the, the conversion you made to minutes only. And finally, if you met the time target, you write, I did it. But if you did not meet the time target, you say, oh no, but don't worry. If you didn't meet it, you can always meet it any other time, okay? All right, let's get to the lesson. Now, do you still remember how to tell the time? Of course, I know you do, but let's just have a reminder. You remember that the 12, when the min minute hand is on 12, or oh, first of all, let's see what I have on the face of the clock. I have the minute hand, the hour hand, and I have the numbers around the circle that's around the clock, of course. Now I have the long hand, it represents the minute hand. The shorter one represents the hour hand. And of course, you're, by now you're aware that each number on the clock have five minutes interval. For example, the minutes between 12 and 1 is five minutes. Between 1 and 2 is equally five minutes. Now, if you have to tell the time, then you have to count how many minutes interval that you have had from 12, the number 12, to the number that the minute and is currently on. For example, if the minute and was on 4, the interval between 12 and 4 is 20 minutes. If you add up all the 5 minutes, it's 20 minutes. So it's going to be 20 minutes past 4. You know that the right side of the clock reads past and the left side reads 2. So if also the minute hand was on 9, for example, if it was on 9, then the hour hand would have moved away a little bit from 4. Maybe it would be in between 4 and 5. And then with that, we say the time is quarter to, to what? Would it be to 4 again? Or would it be to 5? The hour hand has moved away from 4. And it's going towards 5. So that's what we mean by saying 2. So it means it's 15 minutes to 5. That's the next hour. The hour end is going to the next hour. Okay? So that's how we read the time. Uh, let's take one more example. If the, hour, the mini hand was on 11 and the hour end is on seven. What would we say the time is? Or no, the minute and uh, the hour end rather is actually uh, tilting away from seven already, and it's in between seven and eight, or going towards eight. And remember, the minute hand is on eleven. So what do we say the time is? We say the time is five minutes two. To what is it going to be seven or eight? Remember, it has left the hour 7 and it's going towards 8. So by now, it's 5 minutes to 8. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I know you know that already, okay? So we move on to the next.